I thought it was time I got back out and done another video and I'm out at a place called Lighthouse Park this morning. I'm not expecting it to stay peaceful and quiet for long because it is holiday weekend and it is quite a popular location. But for now, we'll walk around the trails and see what we can see. I was here last week with Tommy and Daddle, who we've seen in past video. Um, and we were trying out some gear. Tommy wanted a new stove, so he's tried out a new stove. And we, we went down on the rocks and chilled out and had a coffee. And he's a keen photographer as well, so he snapped a couple of images while he was here. I went back to the UK at Christmas time. I was pretty much busy on the build up till Christmas. So that's why I never managed to get a video out. But I went back for Christmas in the UK for three weeks, thoroughly enjoyed it. Managed a day out with my dad and my brother, so that was great. Uh, we had a day in the Lake District, so that was really nice. The weather was pretty gloomy, but I did manage to get a couple of images on that day, so I'll put them images up now. But all in all, I had a brilliant time. So I'm planning on not working as much uh, this year on weekends. I want to really concentrate on me, my video for my YouTube channel. I want to be able to bring you guys along for a lot more hikes and a lot more journeys. So that's what I've got planned for 2020. Lovely quiet morning. The birds are tweeting there. I heard a couple of bald eagles before, so I think it'll be a really nice day and we'll see how it pans out. I did get here this morning, uh, not quite for sunrise, uh, because the gates don't open till 6.30 and sunrise was around about quarter past seven. Uh, so by the time I walked down from the car, I didn't really have time to, to look for a really good composition. I did, um, I did crack off a couple of shots, but it was all a bit rushed to be honest, and I, I'm not too sure if I got any, if I got any put it above but I just didn't have time to uh, find a really good composition and that's one tip that I could say you know when you're doing photography slow down try and give yourself a bit more time and get it all right on the day so I'm gonna spend the day here today hopefully not too many people come uh, hopefully I'll get some images and if not I get to show you a bit more of the lighthouse park and yeah it was basically just an update on what i'm doing you know i haven't uh, i haven't stopped if you follow us on instagram or facebook uh, you'll notice that i get out quite a lot i do a lot of street photography i'll put some images up for you um, but yeah it's just simply work and you know not getting the motivation to to get out so i'm motivated this year and I, I do plan on bringing a lot more videos. So yeah, let's see how it works out and we'll have a good day today. And the weather's not supposed to change. It's supposed to be quite nice today. So fingers crossed, we'll have a good day. Right, I've got five minutes. There's no people around. Oh, what a nightmare it is today. There's so many people about. I've actually came away from the coast there. Everything was blown out and, you know, it wasn't really nice light. I did take a couple of shots down there, just as reference shots, really. Just past midday now, so it's really bright. And I'm gonna head up to Juniper Point. Now, I don't know if I'll get any shots up at Juniper Point because it is still midday. Uh, so it, obviously it's going to be too bright, but I have seen a shot down on the coast that I wouldn't mind trying because I've actually decided to stay till sunset. Uh, it's going to be a long day, but totally worth it. You know, it's always good to, to spend a day out. And 
you've just got to take what you can get. There is some more people coming. Um, so I'm going to do the Juniper Point, head back along the coast there, uh, wait for the better light, and then fingers crossed, I get there in time and I can relax and set up a proper composition and, and get a shot that I want for today. So I'll speak to you further up the trail and get to show you Juniper Point. Well, I'm here up at Juniper Point, finally made it up the trail and uh, finally found a secluded place where I can speak to you. It is really busy up here, as expected, uh, but I wanted to come up here to show you some video of the lone tree. Uh, I don't know what type of tree it is, but it looks like a large bonsai tree that actually is, has grew out the side of the rock. But it makes for the superb image if you come here at sunset. Because we're close to the west, it makes for a really nice picture if you come here on the right type of day. There's also loads of viewpoints. It's quite high up. There's lots of people rock climb here and even do the cliff jumping into the sea here. Not that you'll catch me doing it. Uh, but I knew I wasn't going to get any images up here. Sorry if I've spoke a lot today, but, you know, battling against the people. I didn't actually realise how draining crowds of people uh, could be because I'm actually used to come into Lighthouse Park and areas like this on different days when it's a lot quieter and you've actually got the place to yourself. As you can see I'm just walking up this last section uh, but it was a ton of people there but I got you some video that's the main thing but I wanted to take you up there for the look. But I'll definitely go back there for a sunset or a sunrise. Probably better for the sunset there. But let's let's head our way to the lighthouse and see if it's a bit quieter. Fingers crossed. So I'm still here waiting for the sunset. But I actually don't think it's going to happen because we've got cloud over to the west where the sun's setting. Uh, the other problem I'm up against here is that the sea's quite calm and the clouds in the sky are quite high. So there's, there's not much detail in the sky or the sea. So it, it, it doesn't work as well as it could work. You know, if you had a choppy sea, you know, you could do something with it and it would probably come out really well. Uh, we've just got to cross our fingers and see if we get some nice light. Well I hope you've enjoyed this week's video. Uh, that was a hard day, that was a long day, but thoroughly enjoyed it. So it's time to pack up now. The tide's more or less gone right out, so all the seagulls are here to get the barnacles and the mussels off the, off the rocks. So it's feeding time for them, and it's feeding time for me because I'm ready for home. So if you'd like to subscribe, please do, if you haven't done already. And if you'd like to follow us on Instagram, it's Bry Barnum Photography. You can see what I get up to when I'm not out doing videos. You'll see that I'm very much active. I'm always doing street photography, so I'm always uploading. And you'll also get to find out what I'm up to with my channel and everything. But I hope to do a lot more videos. 2020 it's the year I can feel it in my bones uh, but my bones at the moment are pretty cold and I'm as hungry as them seagulls so I'm going to take off now so it's time to pack up I'll see you again and thanks for watching bye bye